Alright, so I want to try this new tail light out uh, for my bike. The one I currently have has got this little remote thing. The remote thing uh, broke. But this one is kind of interesting. It's uh, multi-function here. So we'll go through. Uh, it has like automatic braking, which I think is kind of interesting. So it will um, light for two seconds when the bike brakes. So somehow it senses when you're braking. I like that part. It has ambient light induction switch so as you go through a tunnel or it becomes dark it'll automatically turn the light on that part's cool there's kind of the switch as well uh, it's got some sort of distress light so it can sense when the bike is falling over gonna try that it's waterproof it's also rechargeable here's the install and there's the USB jack. This goes for about 21 bucks. Comes in the box here. Here's the light itself. USB charging cable. And the uh, it's got the Allen wrenches in there with the bolts. It's for the post mount. So the bracket. There's USB. Which is that micro USB? And here's the light itself. Cool. Oh yeah, there's the alarm. It's also an alarm. So we are gonna see some fuzz on there. And there's the ambient light sensor. And that's cool. Is it actually comes with two separate types of mounts? One for around the seat post screws in there and the other is actually the seat itself so that's the one I'm gonna try like right there that does come in English as well but that's it I'm gonna that's the way I'm gonna install it actually on the seat we'll see how that goes but the, the, the reason why is because that gives you more room on your seat post because right now mine is in this configuration and um, it, it actually depending on how tall you are requires a seat to be up higher or that much higher so let's see how that one works okay so I'm charging it right now and it's interesting LEDs so I can demo it right now so if the bike were to tip over see how bright it gets that's the SOS flip it back down it goes back to normal mode if you brake quickly See how it does that? And it just goes back to normal. So right now it's charging. There's also some different uh, light modes as well when you first turn it on. So I'm gonna push the uh, red button here. Push that once. See, so it's got a blue and purple rotation. So it's got some different lighting modes. It's kind of cool. And let's go back to the normal. Okay, I have my bike here. I'm near a road. And you can see you, you cannot see anything right now. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, turn it on. Click and hold this button for three seconds till that light comes on. There's pulsing. It's flashing between red and blue. Kind of a solid red. It's flashing blue. in red so that's kind of nice you have these different options yeah I'm gonna try riding it and you'll see
So if your bike falls over, it does an SOS pattern. All right, we're gonna test the alarm now. Okay, the it's armed. So now if you tap the bike, it does a little test. And if you keep tapping it, the alarm goes off. And then you click on it uh, with the uh, certain amount of clicks for the password to reset it. And that turns the alarm off. It's bolted in here and on the side, so definitely uh, people will hear that if they bump into it. The light looks like in the day. It's quite visible. Overall, I'm really impressed with this bike tail light. Works really well. You can see it both day and night and uh, give it a thumbs up.